Hi, Stephen here for Bland Designs, and this is acrylic pouring video number 12. Uh, this one isn't really an experiment uh, in terms of whether or not you can do this. Um, I was watching Danny Clark uh, the other day, and he mentioned that someone asked him if you could do an acrylic pour on tiles. And he said he didn't really know, he hadn't really tried that. Well, I have tried it, and uh, it does work. So I'm going to do it again today. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to get. I'm going to use some paints that I already have pre-mixed with uh, Floetrol in them. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol to them as well. And I think I'll do a dirty pour on each one of these tiles. And my idea here is that when these tiles are dry, I will varnish them. Actually, I have a clear coat that uh, is moisture proof. And then these can become coasters. And I'm planning to make a bunch of these to give to some friends of mine uh, later in the month as a gift. So um, I'm going to move over to the other camera and we're going to get started. My tray and I pulled out three colors of paint, a purple, a blue and a white. And these paints are already mixed up with Floetrol and some alcohol. However, I've taken these little Dixie cups and I've put a little bit of Floetrol in each one of these. How much? I'm not sure, maybe about 10 milliliters. And I'm just, because I'm not sure how well the Floetrol uh, sits when this has been sitting around. And the alcohol may have evaporated. So I'm going to add some paint to each one of these cups. And I'm going to add a little bit of alcohol as well. Then I'm going to put them all into a dirty cup and do a flip cup pour. So I'm not going to need a lot of this paint. So I'll mix up some of the purple first. See here. I didn't put that much in. And because this already has Floetrol in it, I don't think I need to do too much of a mixing here. I'm going to do the same with the blue. And then the white. Now I intend to do all of these tiles using the same color combination. I'm going to put in a little bit more white in here because I think I'm going to be using more of the white. But I might try different type, different um, pours. I'll start with a flip cup. Uh, then I might do just a, a pour from a dirty cup. And then I might try a swipe. And then the last one, I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. Okay, there's my white. Now, I'm just going to move these over here and put these right here. I hope they're all in the shot. Just let me check. Yeah, I think you can see those. I have to move over to my other table to see it because I can't see the computer screen from here. So I've got 99% alcohol. And I'm going to use a pipette. And I'm just going to squirt half a pipette, roughly, in each one of these, which is basically the amount that I'm getting. Give each one a stir. Oops, careful there, maybe spilling them. Now, I did clean off these tiles. These are bathroom tiles. They're ceramic tiles. I picked them up at uh, the local tile store. And um, I cleaned them off with a little rubbing alcohol, same alcohol that I'm putting in those, just to make sure there wasn't anything too slick on the surface. And they're sitting on these. So I've got another cup for dirty pour. So uh, I'm just going to take... white and I think I'll do the purple next I'm not putting a lot in each cup because these tiles are not very big and 
And I'm going to add just a little bit more white to this one. And that's all I've got in here. So I'm going to take this first tile. Let it have a second or two to drain out of the cup. And I'm just going to let it flow. I'm going to grab the torch. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of cells out of this. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to do a little tilting. I'm not so concerned about getting the sides of these tiles. I'm just getting just getting the stuff to the corners. That was a little globby. I think that's the one I kind of put too much uh, torching to. Now my paint isn't all that runny. Just touching up the corners here. As I said, I don't care what it looks like down the sides. Although maybe I do. Maybe I will touch up the sides a little bit. Now this one, I think, looks pretty good. Actually, when I started out, I didn't think I'd worry about the edges, but yeah, I think I'm liking having the edges with some of the stuff on it, so. Sorry about my head. Okay. And I think I'm just going to hit this one with the torch one more time. I don't think I'll gain more out of it, but we'll see. But that's not bad. That's kind of pretty. I am liking that. We'll see what happens as it sits for a while. What what will change? Um, some of the cells have disappeared when I did the pour across. Okay. So the next one I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a pour uh, from a dirty cup, and I'm just going to use the same cup as I had before. A little white, a little blue. A little purple, some more white. I may have to mix up more paints for the last two. Oop, kind of poured out of, and I think I put a little more white in there, and a little more blue. Might as well finish these off. 
probably edited this shot, wasn't I? And some more white. Okay. I'm just letting this go wherever it wants to go at the moment. Okay, hit it with the torch. Getting a few cells. Gonna get some on this corner. And I'm not gonna move this one. I'm just gonna leave this just exactly as it poured out of the cup. I'm not gonna tilt it or anything, because I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing here. And I did get a few more cells this time. And I don't know exactly why. Now, it might have been because last time this was kind of thick. And when I tilted it, I may have got rid of some of the... And once again, excuse my head. There. I think I've got all the sides. But I am liking that. I'm going to hit it once more with the torch, just to see. Okay. So that was a flip cup. That was just a simply a dirty pour. Now maybe I'll try a pour, but not a dirty pour. I'm going to mix up some more of my colors here. I need some white. Oh, I'm going to put some more flow troll in each cup. The white, the blue, purple. Maybe just give it a little bit more. Because I know that the recipe usually calls for a lot more flow troll to, to paint. Okay, let's add some purple, some white, more white, some blue, maybe add another, oops, another squirt of purple. Okay, let's mix these up. And the blue is a pretty color of blue. These paints, by the way, are the cheap ones that I bought in, bought in bulk. Um, so they're probably student grade because I bought them at a place that supplies um, materials for schools. And uh, they, um, as I said, I had them pre-mixed with full troll and alcohol. And this time I'm going to put two pipettes. No, that's not it. Two squirts. And when I say squirts, I'm talking here, this thing is like filling up about halfway up the tube. Get to that. I'm just wondering here. I think I've got, okay. I don't think I've got, I'm going to have to pour this a little bit of this into a cup. Give me a second.
put the cap back on that. Okay, let's see if I can get that's a little better. Not a lot better though. This pipette doesn't seem to be sucking things up. Hmm. That's what I get for buying cheap ones. Alright, we'll do it. I'll just put in a splash. Okay, probably way too much. But we'll see what we get. So give that a stir. Now this one looks like it separated out a little bit. But Danny Clark had the same problem. He says you just keep stirring it and it'll all combine together again. And he's right, it did. The same with the blue, it did a similar thing. Okay, so I need my palette knife. Because I think I will do this as a, as a swipe. So I'm going to lay down some purple first. Ooh. That is really runny. I may have overdone it. Yeah, I think I may have overdone this one. Okay, let's see what we get. Hit it with the torch. I'm getting some cells. Okay, I'm just going to add a little purple here in the center. And a little bit more of the blue. I may be getting a royal mess here. Can't tell if that's air spots on the tile or white paint. Okay, torch again. Little fire there. Okay. I think that's telling me to stop. Okay, this is interesting. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to touch up the sides. So each one of these tiles is going to have its own uh, unique look which is fine, because I think they'll be a more interesting gift. And part of my head again. I think there's a little bald spot right in there.
And again, I'm just going to leave this one alone to let it do its own thing. So what are we going to do here? Okay. I think I'll do... I think I'm just going to pour the paint on this one and I'm going to sort of draw a pattern through it. So I'll do some white. Some of the purple. Purple's really runny. I made it too fluid, I think. And the blue. And now I'm just going to take, I need a stick. Um, I need a popsicle stick, but I want something a little finer, so let me grab. grab this type of palette knife and let's see what we can do with this mess. Yeah, I'm going to see about moving it around a bit. A little heavy on the purple. So I'm trying to move more of the blue. And that's kind of interesting too. Very different from the other two or other three. So again, let's hit it with the torch. I'm getting some new, uh, neat looking cells in one part of it. We definitely don't put too much alcohol in because it's starting on fire. that too. All right, let's touch up the sides. Oops. I know my head's in the way. Okay. Yeah. So four tiles, very different. Now, since these are going to be coasters, once these dry thoroughly, and these are going to take probably 24 hours to dry, maybe a little bit longer, I am going to um, cover them in a varnish. I have one that's called Crystal Clear that is supposed to be, I'll show you the can. It's by Krylon. And it's called Crystal Clear. And it says on the can, permanent protective gloss finish, non-yellowing, moisture resistant, and dries in minutes. 
I got this because of the moisture resistance. Now I think varnish is moisture resistance as well, moisture resistant as well, but I tried this and I have used this on another coaster and it seems to work very well. Now some people might want to know whether or not these can take heat. Um, I have put my coffee cup down on them. Um, I'll say though that they stick a little bit. The coffee cup might stick, but so I don't know if I'd really recommend it for really hot items, but a coffee cup might be okay. Um, but definitely these will work all right. Once this, I get a couple of coats of this onto the tiles, this will definitely seal them um, for moisture. And especially if these coasters are ones that are going to sit out on your patio um, during the summer and that, and they get wet on them, rain, whatever, I think they should be okay. So I'm going to let these dry, and then I will show you the finished product once they're dry and I've put the crystal coat on.